Hey guys, Trainer Toll here. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the new feature called Appraisal. Um, looking at my my really, really good Dragonite, uh, I go up to Appraise. You want me to check out your Dragonite? Overall, your Dragonite looks like it can really battle with the best of them. So each team, so each leader, uh, you know, Mystic Valor and Instinct is going to give you a different uh, a phrase depending on what team you're on. So for Instinct, Overall, your Dragonite looks like it can really battle with the best of them. That means the IVs are 80% or better, which is what we're looking for. It's what we're really hoping for. For me personally, and, and what I recommend for folks, that it, once you've already unlocked that Pokemon and its evolutions in your Pokedex, anything less than that, don't even bother keeping it. Unless it's something you just can't find a good one of, even then, 80% is about my threshold at this point uh, because there's so many Pokemon out there. Now, if you find your only Snorlax, you're stuck with that Snorlax. Probably, but uh, ideally you're looking for ones that are gonna that are gonna rate up above 80%. Um, so if uh, Spark were to say overall your Pokemon is really strong, that would mean it was between um, you know 79 and 67%. Overall your Pokemon is pretty decent, is like 66% and below. And then overall your Pokemon has room for improvement as far as battling goes. That means he's below 50%. So if you see that, especially transfer that because uh, that means that the um, the, the stats are terrible. So once that's done, it'll pop up and it'll say its best quality is attack. Its its defense is great too. It's at, are the best I've ever seen, no doubt about it. And so by saying that, it's saying that those stats are 15 out of 15 on the IV. So there's there's phrases for 14, there's phrases for you know 13 and below and, and, and even worse. But so for this Pokemon in particular, his attack stat and his defense stat for IVs are as high as they can get. So that's that's really, really good. And that appraisal feature is really helpful because it tells you uh, not exactly, it's it's not as good as like Poke Advisor or uh, PG Nexus and whatnot, but this is 100% supported. Um, it's in line with how the old 3DS game was. And I know that some people don't really want to think about it that way, but that's that's the truth. This is kind of how you'd go to an IV raider and he would say, hey, this stat's really good. This stat's the best I've ever seen. And so they, they stuck within um, that existing thing. Now, I've been joking, and I totally doubt that this is the case, but I tweeted them a couple weeks back, and I was like, hey, checking IVs has precedence within the game. You guys are raging about these third-party tools. Uh, why don't you do it the way it was done in the 3DS game, where they can talk to an NPC, and the NPC will tell them um, what they have. And then a couple weeks later, they added this. Now, all I'm telling them is to do what was already there, but uh, you know, maybe I, I gave them a nudge in the right direction. Uh, it stats are the best I've ever seen, no doubt about it, so that's that message. And then... Um, Sometimes it'll comment on the size. Um, although, did they take the size? Let me find a... Okay, so here's an extra small praise. Looks like it really battled with the best of them. Hit points, attack. Yeah, so so there's still... Sometimes if, if it's extra small or extra large, they'll say, uh, that's the tiniest Arcanine I have ever seen. And uh, I have not nicknamed my Pokemon inappropriate things, you cheeky bastards. Um... Although I did see one that was a Weeping Bell named Shake Weight. Anyway, um, so th that's the formula. If you're Team Mystic, the phrase that you're looking for is, uh, overall, your Pokemon is a wonder. What a breathtaking Pokemon. That means that the stats are going to be over 80%. Um, and then 79% uh, and below would be, your Pokemon has certainly caught my attention. 66% um, and below would be, overall, your Pokemon is above average. And then 50% and below would be overall your Pokemon is not likely to make much headway in battle. So that's uh, uh, Blanche's uh, list. And then on the Valor side, overall your Pokemon simply amazes me. It can accomplish anything. That's 80% to 100%. Um, so if it, it can accomplish anything, that means it's the, the upper tier. And then uh, your Pokemon is strong. You should be proud. That's up to 80%, but 67 to 80%. Um, Overall, your Pokemon is a decent Pokemon. That's 66% to 51%. And then overall, your Pokemon may not be great in battle, but I still like it, is 50% and below. Which is kind of funny because you think that's something that like Spark would say. Like, your Pokemon is terrible, but I still love him. Um, but yeah, so that breakdown will also be posted to the uh, Trainer Toll Facebook page so that you can see the full list and, and, and reference it off of that. But um you know, I wanted to give you guys a breakdown and, and kind of explain it. I personally, I've heard a lot of people hate on this, this system. I love it. I think it's great because um, for the most part, having a Pokemon be above 
is the best a lot of people can hope for unless they're seriously seriously farming so um, you can still uh, use this to narrow down pokemon that are above 80 percent and run them through the spreadsheet you can do that without risking logging into a third-party site um, uh, but what this for me does is that if i'm farming uh, the second i catch the thing i just hit appraise and then if i see that message then i tap 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 through to the to the end of that menu, menu and we're done we're moving on so so i know i'm only saving pokemon that are above 80 percent uh ivs or or i'm transferring them anyway because they're not uh, high tier Pokemon are not something I want to use. So, um, very very cool tool. Um, find the list that's appropriate for your team. And uh, I have not heard yet what happens if you are not on any team. Because I know some people are like anti joining a team; they just don't mess with gyms at all. So, I'll have to figure out what that looks like for those people that, that stayed gray. Uh, but you know, Team Instinct pride here, and uh, it's fun to get the the messages from our team leaders. So. On top of the appraise feature, there's also been a bunch of changes to the nests in Pokemon Go. This Monday, we're going to be talking about the one of the most asked and re-asked questions we get here, which is, how do I farm Dratini? So join us Monday. We're going to talk all about farming Dratini. And if you like the videos, please go ahead and click like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And we do get back to them as fast as we can. We're totally due for a, a Q&A episode. So uh, let us know in the comments. Thanks.